whether you are a regular user connecting to a public network in a mall or coffee shop, a student connecting to your university network, or an employee connecting to a company network. You should be in mind that you are not only accessing the internet services, you are also susceptible to network attacks. Our spoofing has become the most dangerous attack in the land. It's also considered as the starting point for more advanced LAN attacks such as denial of service, HTTPS stripping, man in the middle, and session hijacking. Therefore, ARB attack is still the threat that organizations need to address. Detecting and preventing ARB spoofing is crucial. My name is Madnas, I am a cybersecurity student, and today I'm going to present my project on detecting and preventing ARB attacks. Let me explain what is ARP and what is ARP attacks. ARP is the protocol used to resolve IP addresses to MAC addresses. Whenever a device needs to communicate with another device on the local network, it needs the MAC address of that device. ARP is used by the device to acquire the MAC address for that device. So, as an example, let's say device A wants to communicate with device B on the same network. Device A already knows the IP address of device B, but in order to communicate with device B, it still needs the device B MAC. Device E will first look for the device B MAC in its local ARP cache table. If the MAC is not found, device E will create ARP request packet with its IP MAC and the IP of the device B, and then broadcast that packet to switch asking who has this IP. This message will reach all the devices on the network and then the device with the target IP will respond with an ARP replay message containing its MAC address telling that device I am the owner of the IP. Then they will start communicating. This is how the normal connection and the ARP protocol works. ARP attack is the same process but instead of the legitimate user, the attacker in this case will create ARP replay to any device he wants to spoof. For example, if the attacker wants to place himself between device A and the gateway, which is the router in this case, he will create an ARP replay with his MAC and the IP of the router, then send that packet to device A, telling him he is the router. Also, he will send ARP replay to the gateway, telling him he is the device A. Both devices will accept and update their ARP table with the entry received without any authentication. All traffic between device A and the gateway will now be routed through the attacker device. Our protocol likes authentication mechanisms anyone can easily spoof any device. I want to ask you a question. If you know the person next to you is conducting man in the middle attack against your device, think how you can prevent it. Definitely, if you search online, you will find many solutions. Still, none of them will be effective if the attacker uses advanced tools such as Bittercap, Canyon Apple, which can generate more than 100 ARP spoof per minute. Several tools have been developed to mitigate ARP spoofing attack. However, it has significant drawbacks. In terms of mitigation technique, the majority of them work in passive or active detection mode without any attack prevention only support one operating system and some use cryptographic authentication and kernel batching which has an impact on our protocol performance. Due to the deficiencies of those tools, we designed a new effective technique capable of overcoming the shortcomings of the existing tools. Then we develop a tool that implements our design technique. The technique is called multi-phase validation and it uses ARP and ICMP to detect and prevent the attack. Our tool called ARP Shield. When ARP Shield starts, it sends ARP broadcast request to each entry on the host, updating and correcting any existing ARP entries before monitoring incoming traffic, which means the tool will work on passive and active technique to detect and correct the attack immediately, regardless whether the attack occurs before or after the tool runs. The detection mechanism will examine the ARP replay packet in multi-phase validation and compare it to the current ARP table. If the conflict is detected, the detection mechanism will identify the attacker, correct the entry, and start the prevention mechanism to stop the attack. The prevention mechanism will use the pre-installed host-based firewall to add three roles to the iOS model 
at layer 2. That will prevent the attacker from poisoning the host ARP table by blocking all incoming and outgoing traffic until the user unplugs the attacker device from the list and the tools used to launch the ARP attack will fail. The benefit of using ARP Shield tool Effectively detect and prevent ARP attacks Log the attack info to the system, send an email and raise alarm to notify the users. Can be scheduled at the system startup to automatically do prevention of the ARP attacks. ARP Shield supports cross-platforms, Linux, Windows and Mac.